We are done at the police station. Bang satisfied. And I'm here, I'm satisfied. You pop your top and how you lose your crew cool, and how you look at me too say why you no fighting no I can't stop it It is a Sunday. <laughs> Why am I laughing? It's a Sunday. And we are going to church. Let the church say amen. We are going to church. And let me let me let me fix this. Cause I need to blow dry this first. Okay, we're done. Hi guys. Um is this vlogmas i don't even know what the, this is not vlogmas definitely not vlogmas because i'm not partaking in vlogmas this year um i just i just i just don't want i don't want to be i don't know guys i mean i mean i'm the thing is i'm not going through anything but i just feel like it is something that is happening with my faith rather I feel like I'm going through isolation, if I can say that. I think that's why I think me thinking that, okay, let me go to K-Town. Let me, let me go relax. It's going to be better. Well, it didn't get better. I'm still f in a bit of a funk, but I'll get out of it soon. Don't worry, but I hope you guys are good. Um, this is going to be a daily vlog because I just decided, oh, but I want to speak to you. I miss you. Damn, this is not in the middle. Oh. This is definitely not in the middle. So I was like, I miss you guys so much. I want to speak to you because I haven't spoken to you in a damn minute. So, so I woke up this morning. I did my devotion. You guys saw I gave you a little montage and then now we are gonna go to church i actually was not gonna go to church today because i felt like i'm in a bit of a funk but i was on the phone with sammy and she was like no we didn't even talk talk about church and she's like sunday we're having the holy communion at church and i was like you know what let me not be sitting here and not doing anything let me rather just go to church you know plus it's holy communion I was like, let me just go. So, I'm going to go to church. But I hope you guys are good. And we're keeping well. The year is almost done. We thank God that we are here. He's been keeping us, all of us. And that's just that. <laughs> but I feel like that's why I'm like, I haven't been vlogging because I've been in a, a bit of a funk. Especially with my, I want to say with my faith. But also, what exactly do I mean with my faith, you know? That's why I feel like I've been in a bit of isolation with trying to understand where am I taking this in a sense of what's currently happening in my life. There's a shift in my life. Obviously, um, I'm not prepared to talk about it right now, but I will soon. But there's a shift. There's a shift in the matrix, Kisana. And... I just feel like God is just wanting me to be alone, wanting me to spend time with him in order for me to get out of it, you know? So that's why the weekly vlogs are not happening as much. And like I said, I thought if I go to Cape Town, I'm going to come back better. Yes, I am better, but not the way I'd want it, not the way EXO would be better. You know what I'm saying? So I can't wait to get out of this. So that I can be back to myself and give you guys all of me. But yeah, we're going to go to church. I'm just waiting for my delivery now. Because I'm like, what's happening? So yeah, the season of isolation, guys, is showing me flames because I constantly want to be alone. I constantly don't want to go out. And... 
I just want to be in a place where I'm constantly sobbing, but it can't work like that because I need to work. I need to work i need to show up i just need to be somewhat okay but i've realized that this is what i wrote down actually i said god uses those seasons of being alone and isolated to draw us closer to him to refine and mold us to strip away what isn't needed and largely to shape us into who we need to be We'll come out of it a more whole person with our identity based on christ and his truth and not anything else God chooses his people and protects them by isolating them. Once you understand this, you'll try you stop trying to force certain situations to happen in your life. You'll develop more faith and trust in your past. The isolation journey has taught me to let go, detach, and be present. You know? Because in 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 I think last week it was. Yeah, last week when I was in Cape Town rather. I was like, I'm gonna go out, have fun and stuff like that. Like I don't know guys, I don't like going out in Cape in Joburg anymore. So I was like, okay, we're going to Cape Town, I'm gonna have fun, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Tell me why I was in the house 90% of the time. Cause Tayo left me at his house because he was in Joburg, so he was like, Why would you book an Airbnb when you can just be at my house? So I was like, Okay, cool, I'll be at the house. Guys, I only went out twice and I was there for a week. Because God was like, you thought by going to Cape Town, things are going to get better. No, I will bring you back to where I want you to be. So I'm just like, oh, this is why I was in a funk. This is why this hair is so slippery. This is why I was in a funk. This is why I was doing one, two, three. Because I thought I just need a vacation when actually God wants me to be present. God wants me to be closer to him, you know. And... I thank God that he's also placed people in my life that I can call and be like, Yo, Sana! Guys, my hair is so slippery. It's not even holding a curl. I'm also saying that I think... Must I make it straight? No, I want it to be curly. Also, like I said, I thank God that he's put me in a situation where I have friends that I can call to be like, Yo, can you please pray for me? Because something is happening and I'm going through something and I just feel like one, two, three, you know? And I feel like I have prayed so much to be in a position where every single day when I, when I say my prayers, I'm just like, God, take more of me and give me more of you. You know what I'm saying? I have a platform where I speak to 100,000 something people. And I don't know if what I'm saying is, is going to make sense. I don't know if what I'm saying is going to resonate with the next person, but I realized that it actually does. People actually are listening to what you are saying in terms of the whole God, this God, that type of situation, you know. So I think I was questioning my faith, but did I do the right thing by opening up this chapter in my life, not just to myself, but to a lot of people. But also I realized that the feedback, and I'm not saying that in a sense of, oh, this is my food. I'm not saying this in the sense of, oh, do this and see how the feedback comes. If it's good, then continue. If it's not, then don't, you know. I'm talking in a feedback in a sense of are you touching people's lives or you just think you're going about this the way that you want to go you know so i think me going through this was god showing me that it is the right track for me you know and i may not see it but it's definitely going the way that he would want it you know because Sometimes, guys, I honestly don't want to lie to you. I don't feel worthy of even coming here and talking to you guys. I literally question myself about who do you think you are? Especially with the God that's got that journey. I'm just like, who do you think you are coming and talking to Bandu Bangulungulu and telling them whatever that you're telling them and expecting them to listen, you know? So I feel like I'm learning a lot in this time of whatever that I'm going through, this season of isolation, because like I said, I didn't understand it until I was reading my Bible. And it literally showed itself to me. It revealed itself to me that you are going through something because God wants you out of it. And I don't feel like, um, like I said, I will share what it is currently that I feel like is, is contributing to all of this when I'm ready. Because I know whatever that I share, yes, some people are going to take it however they take it. But some people are going to, to get some form of help from me sharing what, you know. So... I lost, how do I say it? 
without me giving out too much that's my problem i lost something so dear to me recently something that i thought you know what this is it sana this is it there's no two ways about it and god was like i'm gonna take it from you because this is not what i want from you and then i think i'm learning to now trust him even more because i was i was um in bible study with rory sang and he was like and they were talking about trusting god more um what was the word about i'll go i'll go check my my thingy having faith and whatever they were talking about paul something like those were those were the they no something about paul not having much but still trusting in the lord you know every single day i felt like i was praying for this one consistent thing but not realizing that i have so much I currently have so much going on for me, but I'm still praying for this one thing. Why am I not enjoying or why am I not dwelling or why am I not being present in what God has currently given me right now? So this thing was constantly bothering me to an extent where I'm just like, okay, so it's not happening. God, like, what do you want to happen now? And then only to realize that I need to be currently present for what he's giving me. And then when he's ready to give me this thing that I'm praying for. It's going to happen. But also I feel like you know my heart. You know what I want. You know what I need. And you're going to give it to me regardless of me having to pray for it. You know what I'm saying? So I just felt like you, I don't know if you guys realize, obviously because I wasn't vlogging, but I wasn't talking about God, this, God, that, because I just felt like you are abandoning me. Are you isolating me from all of this? So now I realize that you are isolating me in order for him to show me that you do not need that right now you know so i feel like sometimes the things that we want is not what god wants for us then now we start questioning oh, but but you are the same person that said whatever we pray for you will bless us with you know so the season of isolation guys you are going to lose a lot of things that you thought that okay this is it this is what i've been wanting this is what i've been longing for this is what i've been praying for despite you praying for it if god says no it's a no you know so I'm, I'm, I'm learning a lot in this journey of faith and wanting God to be present, wanting him to help, wanting him to do this and that. But you are not currently living in the present. You know, I have a roof over my head. I have a car. I have this. I have that. Let me stop chasing the other things and focus on what I currently have right now. So... I can't wait to get out of this whatever funk that I'm in so that I can fully give you guys myself. But for now, let's just enjoy the little types of content that I'm going to be giving you. And I hope you guys bear with me until I'm myself again. So I'm just going to quickly do my hair and then get dressed. And then we're going to go to church. And then I have lunch with Paul. He's going to cook. And then after that, we'll come back home. Um, and then we'll take it from there because I have just ordered food now. Church is at 11. It's currently 10.49. And I'm still here. So I need to be quick. I'll see you guys in a bit. If I explain to you guys that I've been done a long time ago, I've just been looking for an outfit, you'd be upset as well. But I'm going to wear this dress. I've worn this dress to church before. Um, it's just a black dress that I got from Sheen. And I'm going to wear a black scarf on top. You guys know I don't like showing my shoulders like that in church. And then I'm going to wear these cute 
you guys have never seen these shoes right i love them so much they're so adorable i'm gonna try to get a photo so that you guys can see how my fit is gonna look like and then obviously i don't have makeup on earrings i'm wearing my Bottega earrings Bottegas or whatever and then i'm gonna carry a black bag i'm late because of an outfit but this is how we're looking with the shoes i'm gonna carry a black bag and i'll see you guys at church i'm back from church church was so amazing i do not want to lie to you and to think i didn't want to go is to see the most craziest part you know because today's word was pray without ceasing and the situation that i've been going through literally brought me to a place where i was just like you know what i told you this morning was i feel like i've been praying for this particular thing so much that i feel like god is not giving it to me because he's Maybe thinking I'm not realizing everything else. Sorry, the lighting is a bit dark. Maybe I feel like God is not, I'm not realizing like everything else that he's done for me and stuff like that. But then only to have reassurance today that I need to continuously pray for this particular thing that I want or this particular thing that I wish to get. Pray without ceasing because it'll happen. The thing is, I want it to happen now and God is like, I nearly said I think the fuck not. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a Sunday. But God is like, relax, my boy. When it's time to happen, it'll happen. But um as you guys can see, I got the Bozega Zoops. <sighs> Somebody got them for me from Amazon and I absolutely love them. It was a subscriber by the way. So thank you to you, my darling. But um I'm home now. I want to quickly change and poor your fave decided that he wants to cook sunday lunch and the funny story is i already put out inyama for me to cook but i'm gonna go to impose house so i'm just gonna go change now look cute and then we're gonna go to impose place to go have sunday lunch. i'm done getting ready i want to take a glass of wine a glass i want to take a bottle of wine from paul because he lives and dies for wine also i didn't drink my pills today so i didn't take my vitamins i didn't take my nothing it's just me my nipple okay drip check record me i'm wearing this um Oh my god, I'm wearing this. Okay, I'm wearing this dress. Um, it's a leopard print dress. We're gonna be inside the house, chilled and stuff. So I was like, let me be chilled. This is how it looks like at the back. And I'm wearing my Gucci slides, and then I'm just gonna carry my Burberry bag and accessories. It's the same earrings and necklace. By the way, guys, I'm vlogging on my M50. I missed it so much, and it looks so good. Okay, let us go to Impose House. I need to call Paul and tell him I'm coming. I need to call your fave and tell him I'm on the way. Because. Friend. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm on my way now. Nah? Alright, Is it the same address, yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll see you now. Sure. Sure. Okay, so we're gonna go to Mpo now. And I'll see you guys when we get there. Ish, guys, do you see how this thing scratches me? Like, if I put a chat, it'll scratch me. But let's try before Wofigi Lembalula come for me and say, Why am I doing that to my belt? I'll see you guys now. Standing on business is not for the faint hearted. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, I last saw you on Sunday. <clears throat> and we were supposed to. We were supposed to. <laughs> but you can't. <laughs> guys, I love Zuli so much. But anyway, I know yesterday we went to Mpo's house. When I got there, I just felt like I missed my friend and I wanted to see him and also the setup was a bit because we had somebody else join us there. 
so i don't want to have the camera in their faces you know what i'm saying so i just went there had lunch if you saw my youtube if you saw my oh damn oh i nearly gave myself a spasm it was going to be a very very bad day i nearly gave myself a neck spasm i turned too quickly if you don't know i have neck spasms because i was in that long story but um, today is Monday. I was supposed to show you guys yesterday what happened with the point stuff and stuff and stuff, but I couldn't. I'm so sorry. But today is a brand new day. It's Monday. I'm standing on business by force because I feel like I'm abandoning you guys. But like I said, it, this vlog was supposed to end yesterday and then I decided to bring it in today because I just felt like it was going to be short and you guys were going to complain and I'm home. So I was just like, let me just do my skincare, you know? My skin has been a topic of discussion amongst us darlings because we have seen it go from this to to this, <laughs> you know. I have, I don't want to say I've suffered for, like with acne. I never used to have acne ever, even when before my son. I never had problematic skin and stuff like that. My skin only started acting up in 2018. When I was in a long-term relationship and then I broke up with my boyfriend and then I don't know if it was stressed or whatever nonsense, but I just broke out Everywhere my chest my back my face. It was crazy So I went to the dermatologist and she was like it's hormonal acne But it's not the severe one where I'd have to put you on orotin or other stuff like that Then I went on yes, so I was on yes for I was on yes for like prior to to when I okay when I had my baby after that I didn't have any sexual intercourse for maybe like maybe two years and then after that I went on yes and then I stopped yes and then I went on yes again and then it was just an on and off type of situation it's, a, it's not like I was stopping it but like I would drink it today not have it one week you know because of you know I wasn't in a relationship like that and then 2018 met my boyfriend blah 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 dated and then after that yeah we broke up the stress just took over my life and then yeah I had a very bad breakout went to the dermatologist he was like you're still on yes though but like now be consistent then i started being consistent yes changed my life my skin started to be fine but then i was left with the hormonal acne that i've been treating for the past three years three years guys it took me three years to get to where we are it's still i still have some but these ones are fresh because i'm currently on my period so this one is still fresh you guys can see it and then this one was from last week. I picked it. I shouldn't have picked it. And then, but I have freckles though. So you guys can see those are my freckles. But yeah, I'm not going to pick this one. And this side as well. Like I have one here. Because I'm on my period, right? I'm on my period because I thought I wanted to, to take up my IUD. And then I went back to my contraceptives. And then I started on the silver side. Now I'm on my period. Guys, it's just a long ass story. But then I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to take out this IOT because I don't want to be on contraceptives anymore. I don't want to be on oral contraceptives. So I'm just going to handle my skin the best way I know how. And that is to try a different skin wash, a face wash or whatever. So um, the past three years, I've been with Dr. Nandi. I've been with Dr. Nandi since 2020. COVID, yeah, I think last, the, the, when they just opened, I just, you know. So, I've been getting facials, I've been getting vampire facials, I've been getting all of these things, guys, for my skin to get to where it is right now. And then I added glow right to the equation. Crazy business. This is not a paid ad. You guys know I already did my paid ad with glow Bright, but I am personally obsessed. glow Bright gave me that ultimate glow that I needed, and also it just helped with my pigmentation also as well. But I also feel like the products that I've been using also help with my pigmentation. So I'm going to do an AM skin care routine, AM skin care routine obviously which means in the morning and then later on I'm going to do a PM one because I have different products that I use in the morning and I have different products that I use at night. I don't use the same thing. I'm going to try, obviously guys, in the beginning of whatever skin journey that I was on, I couldn't afford the most expensive skincare or luxurious skincare, whatever you want to call it. But now I'm at a point in my life where fortunately we thank God that I can be able to afford a freaking 10 mil niacinamide serum for 1000 because it works i know but i also like to say to people that because i went to the la roche per se um 
what's this it was the skin masterclass or whatever and the dermatologist they said if something works for you of course you can tweak it here and there but don't completely change it like there's some people guys that use a gentle magic and it works for them and i also do have gentle magic by the way i'm going to show you guys i only use gentle magic when i have an active pimple just like this one i use gentle magic and it dries it out some people use gentle magic for their whole face and it works for them some people use sunlight and it works for them some people use what's this cuticura whatever they call it and it works for them if you have a skincare routine that works for you i would highly recommend for you to stick to it tina abanya we had to suffer with acne that's why we had to go through different avenues for us to have the perfect skin but I'm just grateful that I'm at a point where my skin is finally working with me and I don't have to do much. I got these from Sheen, by the way. I love them so much because whenever I'm washing my face, the water doesn't have to run down. Because it's harder washing your face when you have your lashes. Like when you have individual lashes because you have to use the sponge. But yeah, I have been using CeraVe. This is a foaming cleanser for normal to oily skin. I don't have oily skin like that only on my t-zone so i like using this sarah v this one is a foaming cleanser like i said um for normal to oily skin they have different type of ranges that you can use but this is the one that i love this is my daytime you can take this from day to night but i use this in the day and the night alternatively because this is a cleanser alternatively i also use my la roche per se pigment clear cream moussant um, brightening foaming cream cleanser I love both of these together I use this like I said during the day and then I use this at night but sometimes when I feel like I want to double cleanse I'll start with this one and finish with this one I don't normally double cleanse every single day because I just feel like it's going to strip your your face off necessary moisture so I'm gonna start with this girl I love her so much because she's just so um soft and i just love how it feels on my face it's like a gel type of consistency this is what it, you can't even see it but i just put it all over my face and i literally rub like this for like a minute i'll be on it like this guys i don't want to lie to you my skin came I went in and washed my face, by the way. I was not going to show you guys the whole thing, but, but I went in and washed my face. My face is clean. Guys, my skincare takes about an hour. This is why I can't compromise when it comes to it because I don't like doing my skincare maybe 10 minutes and stuff. I wash my face and maybe chill for 10 minutes. I just want, I don't know, I just feel like I just like doing it like that. Like, I don't want to do every step one after the other like that like that no i just feel like you're piling everything into your skin and no so it's already after like five to ten minutes now and i'm gonna go in with a toner the two toners that i love is the uri age um essence hydrate illumine glow up water essence moisturizing rebalancing and brightens this is the one that i like you can get this from disc game or clicks i'm not sure and then the other one that i like is the fat water pore refining toner serum from fenty skin i love this one so much as well um i only use these ones during the daytime this one is mostly how do i put it this one is more i feel like this one is more moisturizing as well more than this one so sometimes i can go in with this one right and then when i'm done just pat this one on top that's just how i like doing it and then i use the dove uh, cotton pads i love these ones so much i just feel like they make sense they're also very soft on my skin because i've realized that ever since i've been taking like a bit more care for my skin it's a bit delicate so i want to be using products or things that i feel like are more like softer on my skin so i'm just gonna go ahead and just clean my skin with the toner i don't have to do much with this one because i just feel like once i'm done with cleansing my face it's so clean i don't have to go or do a lot on it because like i said i just feel like it strips your face off all its nutrients listen to me being a a, a dermatologist nutrients and a, so this is what there's nothing there it's so clean so now i'm gonna chill again for another five minutes just to let this 
breathe, settle in and you know. After toning my face, we are go we are gonna go in with the UREH um what's this water eye contour cream this moisturizes reduces the appearance of puffiness and dark circles i love her so much i use her during the day as well because like i said i have one that i use at night so this one makes sense for me during the day because it just brightens my under i don't really have uh dark circles anymore mostly because i have been using i feel the best products so far and they've gotten rid of my dark circles so that's why i'm just keeping to them and one thing about me guys if something i if i use something and it works it'll take time for me to change it it's the same as makeup i prefer buying makeup and i use it and it finishes because why am i like buying different products when i have one that makes sense to me you know what i'm saying and when i'm done i'm gonna use my fan just to you get it. Another 5 to 10 minutes has passed and now it is time for serum. I use the La Roche Posay serum. Um, why is it so bright? Sorry, my bottom is a bit bright. But I'll just list, list, you list. I'll just list everything in the description box. But I have an alternative for my girlies who feel like maybe La Roche Posay is a bit expensive, right? You can buy the UREH Thermal Water Serum as well. I use this one if you feel like the La Roche Posay may be a bit pricey, or you could use the Eucerin Triple Effect Serum. I alternate between the sun, I like using the sun at night as well sometimes. So, if you feel like La Roche Posay is a bit pricey, then you definitely can use that one, or you can use the ordinary one. I use this one at night only but sometimes I do use it during the day you get what I'm saying I don't like using it um, all the time because I feel like it's a bit harsh for me personally like like I said my skin barrier also right now is a bit fragile because remember I had my my vampire facial so I use the La Roche Posay serum I don't want to lie to you guys, the serum is expensive, it's like 700 and something and I definitely do put a generous amount because I love just how it feels on my skin. So you may want to put a little lot less than what I put but I put a lot because I want my skin to be moisturized and that is me saying I do not compromise on my skin like at all at all. So I'm just going to leather that go over my face. I don't wait for it to dissolve sorry I don't like to spread it out too much so that it dissolves on my hand I want it to just sink in my skin so that's why it takes a while for me when I'm doing my my, my skincare because I take 10 minutes 10 minutes for everything to just sit so now this is in my skin I'm gonna wait for another 10 minutes and then when I come back with the moisturizer we are done with that. We are going to moisturize now. This is the Urich. Guys, I love Urich. Like, I love Urich so much. And this moisturizer is so tiny. Matter, it's like 200 and something. But because skincare, Sana, I will not compromise. So, I put a generous amount as well. And then I put it all over my face. Just like that. But I don't wait for it, like I said, to. A pill on my hand I just put it on there and then it's gonna do its thing another 10 minutes and then for for sunscreen <laughs> I feel like I have not changed my sunscreen for the past three years I have not used any other sunscreen for the past three years but I also like the barrage per se sunscreen I really really love this one um, it, it feels good on the skin but for me personally, I use both of them because this one gives me a glow that, guys, every sun, if they ever stop making every sun, that's the day I die. I don't want to lie to you, that's the day I die. Like I said, I love this one as well. It makes perfect sense. You should go get this one. A bit pricey as well. I'm not going to wait for 10 minutes now because I'm going to be late if I do. I have somewhere to be after this. It's a bit watery, so... Like I said, I'm very generous when it comes to this. 
I'm gonna put a little hood just like that. Somebody said when you're doing your skincare routine, don't go down, go up. Guys, we are gonna get old. We are gonna get wrinkles. Even if you go up, you go down. You know what I'm saying? So I literally feel like I wanna do it, but then I forget, but then I wanna do it. It's a lot. So this is how my skin's gonna look like. And then when I'm done, I go in with this one as in, I feel like I, I use it as like a fix spray, as like it, it feels like makeup, but like I'm fixing everything. So I do not put this one on my face like this. I don't spray it and put it on my face, no, I don't. I take it like this and I do this. And be careful with this one, it burns a bit. So if you have sensitive skin, I do not recommend this girl because she'll burn a bit, but she works. I only feel, also, I feel like it only burns your skin when you have sensitive skin, but you have like normal skin like mine, she doesn't, you know what I'm saying? And then this is how my face looks like. I love looking like a glazed donut. Krispy Kreme should hire me to come and advertise their donuts because I'm a donut. Did you get it? Exactly. So after I'm done with this one, I don't touch my face anymore. I just put this glow and I am out. That's literally my daytime skincare routine. Be it I'm home, be it I am going outside, be it anything. This is my skincare routine and that's just that. I absolutely love how it just, oh, love it here. So yeah, that's our daytime skincare routine. Oh, I'm gonna take the gentle magic of it and then put it, um, I do this. And then I'm gonna put it on the pimple that is currently brewing. Do you see that? Just put it there, just on the pimple. I swear, it dries out the pimple. You're gonna wake up tomorrow and the pimple is gone instead of you picking it. I think that's another reason why I want to have short nails so that I can't be able to pick my face because I don't like that. But yeah, this is what is our skin looking like. Do you like it? Did you like? Period. Let's go. At this present moment in my life, starving is an understatement. I'm done getting dressed. I'm wearing these earrings from Sheen, LV necklace, and I'm gonna mix scent of the day. You guys are always complaining that I don't do them. I'm gonna do them today. I'm wearing this True Amour from Zara, you guys know her. She's the Delina exclusive um, dupe, apparently. I'm gonna mix it with my police one. I already told you guys where to get this one. If you don't know it, then you're not a true subscriber. Outfit, I'm wearing all black, what's new? Um, where did I get this top from? Cause I definitely did not buy this. It's definitely a boy's top. This is a D squared top. I know for a fact I got it from some someone because this is not mine. <laughs> and I'm wearing black leggings and then I'm gonna go wear my uh, slides. I'm gonna carry my, what's that? I'm gonna carry my, I'm gonna wear my white slides by the way. I just feel like I don't get time to wear my shoes so I'm gonna wear her today. I'm gonna wear my LV slides because Sana, this thing of putting things on hold because you're waiting for a special occasion is not gonna work anymore. You know, we are dying, we are dying. So, I'm gonna get my berry bag. Let me bathe. One thing about it, you know me, I'll bathe. Because what are all these perfumes for? I shall it in la, and I'm not using them, you know? Anyway, I'm starving. I feel like I want to go eat first because we have to go to, let me my shoes, we have to go to, um, put you guys further down, we have to go to the police station, I have to do Effie Davids, the Avi David, when last you doing Avi David, I'm learning the Avi David for this company that I'm working with, so they want an Effie David for me to prove that I'm a sole proprietor, something like that. My B E E none none. So I have to do that, and then yeah, I might even take my car to the car wash. I want that shakshuka from pantry, hey? 
Yeah, I feel like pantry is gonna make sense. Actually, let me go to pantry. I hope it's not full though, because I'm not going to Like, I'm not even going to be smiling. Especially not with boys, because yeah. Okay, let's go to pantry instead. What time is it now? It's 11. I hope it's not full. We're gonna sit outside and have ourselves a cute meal while wow, maybe they wash my car because my car's dirty. Okay, let's go to pantry. Let me just put. This hair is giving scalp and I'm here for it. I feel like I should just tie it until I get to pantry. Right? So that it makes sense. I'll remove this when I get there. I'm craving their shakshuka. Oh, their shakshuka is so good. And they have this blueberry smoothie. What? Exactly. Okay, let's go. I just got to pantry. It doesn't look full. Thank God. So, let's go eat, kids. Damn. Guys, every time you see me and then you like try to talk to me and I don't look your way or something like that, I can't see you. And I have hip and I have hip pods. I have airpods. I am in December at the street. Chakarad. I don't you. Got to pantry. It's not full, thank God. And I just ordered a. What is this? So thick. Put it below. And I ordered chip sugar. So I'm just waiting for it to come. And then I'm going to watch my favorite. I'm not going to come up high because I don't want people to feel uncomfortable. So I'm just going to watch my favorite show. And then eat. Mm. And my mother was last week Berlin, and I'm going to Berlin and Jan. Um, I just finished having, I didn't even finish the food. I finished this thing as well, so I need to take it to the police station now. I need the closest police station, but I need to go to this game. And then you're sob. I'm scared. I need to go to this game. And I need to get something. And I'm scared to go there because I'm just like. But we don't have a choice, do we? I just got to the police. Station. Guys, the last time I was here. I had come to report that lady that hit my car. But we just got to the police station. I'm gonna quickly go in and get this thing done. Ish, I just showed you my thing, but I'm gonna quickly get this thing done. I can't take you guys in with me because I'm the police station near Batilava. My name is Mahmoud. You know. We are done at the police station. Bang satisfied. And I'm here, I'm satisfied. <laughs> so now that I'm satisfied and they satisfied my papers, um, we're gonna go to. Guys, I feel like I should not go to this game, cause I need, I need tampons and I need um, what are these things? I need my panty liner. I don't need to go to this game for this because now I'm gonna go send this to my email address. I'm gonna go to the post office and send it to my email address. I literally can just go to checkers and get these things because I have a very strong feeling if I go to this game, then you guys said this game is gonna do it again. Did you get me? 
She gave me exactly. So not this game. We are going to just stop it. I'm back home. I'm like, I wanna cook. Remember that onion from Do you see that water? Sell boli. I said I'm Like what am I gonna eat now? Cause like I wanted to make like brown rice, you know? And like chicken. I haven't even eaten these. What are they expiring? Oh my god. Only really? I need to eat these today. But like I was like, let me make brown rice. Let me make some chicken. Now my head is telling me there's noodles. You literally can make noodles. I'm not in the mood to cook also. Cause my head is like I must do also pasta and then do and then make rather um salsa because you guys know I love salsa. So I'm like make also pasta, make salsa, but I am just so lazy to cook. Also the fact that there's noodles, I'm just like no it's cause I'm just lazy, so I'm just gonna watch TV. <laughs> I have to throw away that freaking whole, whole. I think maybe there's like three onions. They have to throw away all those onions because they went bad. Because I haven't cooked. This is why I don't buy groceries. It's pointless. I literally bought these with you guys when last week. Last week Friday, when when was the vlog? Friday, yeah, last week Friday. Now whatever, they have gone bad because I didn't. It's pointless buying groceries in this house. I haven't eaten these crazy business. So I'm, not, I'm just gonna eat noodles and get some more dealing because also I just drank my Herbix tea now and I'm like so full. So I'm gonna see you guys later when we do our nighttime routine and then just chill. Cause right now I'm just gonna chill and watch movies and eat fruits. There's nothing for me to do. I've already submitted two videos for VR Health. I did them today morning. And then there's nothing else for us to do. But relax and chill. I'm going to ask somebody to order me Nando's. Maybe if I order a Nando's full chicken, I don't have to like cook, you know? Yeah, I'm going to ask this one to order me Nando's full chicken. And then I'm going to eat it. Yeah, Nando's full chicken. And then, what is this again? What is this again? And milli million and what's this meat? Corn, sorry. So I'm gonna order the Nando's full chicken, corn, and a salad. I'm not about to cook. I'm not in the mood. So let's order that. Let me call the son so that he can order that for me. And then, Dali, don't speak. Shh. shh, shh. <laughs> I'm vlogging. Don't speak. I told my subscribers that I'm gonna ask this one to buy me food. Guys, my food is here. As you can see, I'm going to eat this today and tomorrow. So that I don't have to cook. And then I'm gonna have my banana muffins. What is I'm talking to the camera. Your babes are going to hear your voice. <laughs> need to finish this it's 8 now I'm still on 5 p.m. I hope you guys can see me and the lighting is not bad can you see me I really hope you can see me but is it AF tracking me <laughs> but um it is later and the last time we spoke i was doing i was eating i had just ordered nando's so it's time for my nighttime skincare routine and you guys remember i said i'm gonna take you guys with you guys can you believe this is all my skincare like getting this thing from from 
Westpac was literally everything. But this is all my skincare. And I'm gonna do my nighttime routine. I would have loved to steam my face, but why do I feel like this tracking is not working? Or is it just me? Okay, it's working, Sana. I would have loved to steam my face. Is it working? Okay, it's working. What I was saying was, I would have loved to steam my face, but I have lashes on. And I'm not sure if I'm supposed to steam my face with lashes on. You know? So, yeah. Like I said, it's later on. It's time for me to do my nighttime skincare routine. And, of course, I'm going to take you guys through the whole step. Nothing much will change, really. Because I still use the same washing or cleansing um, foam. Or I use the La Roche Per Se just to double cleanse. But I've been enjoying the CeraVe. So, I'm not going to show you the whole step of CeraVe. But... But anyway, I honestly don't have to show you the whole step of the nighttime skincare routine because I literally do the same thing that I do during the day. But now I'm going to show you the products that I use. So for washing my face, I use the CeraVe um, foaming cleanser. I'm absolutely obsessed with this thing. So it's also helping with, helping with my breakouts, my hormonal breakouts because I thought that, oh my God, now that I'm on the IUD, my breakouts are going crazy. But... The CeraVe has been helping. I feel like I'm getting flu because what is this voice? What is this voice? You know? So, yeah. CeraVe to wash my face. And then after I'm done with that, I go in with a toner. So, because it is night time now. I use this girl three times a week. I use the Ordinary Toner. Glycolic Acid Exfoliating Toner from The Ordinary. I got this from... It's still full as you guys can see. It's... Um, because I first got the small one, they have it at the Ox store, and then I wanted to see how I'm gonna feel about it. That's why I'm coming to share now my skincare routine because I've used it and I love it. So I went and got the big one. They had a Black Friday situation, so I was very happy to get it. Everything was three ninety because I got I got the serum as well. So when I'm done washing my face with the CeraVe, I go in with the ordinary toner just to tone and make sure that my skin is glowing by the way like i said i use this three times a week i use it on monday i don't use it on tuesday i use it on wednesday and on friday saturday sunday i don't use it because it's a bit strong for me personally it's also harsh and also my skin like i said the barrier of my skin is a bit soft because i went in and and did my vampire facial so i don't use her like that and then every time i use this i don't go in with any um serum on top because i just feel like this thing makes your skin makes my skin personally a bit how do i i get a little tingly sensation which is wrong because if it's get, if it's giving me a tingly sensation i should stop using it but i don't because i feel like it's not doing anything wrong to me or my skin Cause when i was watching this other girl on on youtube she was like yes it does tingle so what she does is she doesn't put any serum on top of that when she's done so i was like that works for me as well so after i'm done with this i go in with my eye cream nine time i use the fenty flesh nap instant revival eye gel cream i love this one for the night time i don't know why i use this one at night but i love using this one it's not at night it actually makes sense to me because remember during the day I use this one but I feel like this one you can also use it as night at night as well um, as part of your nighttime skincare routine and then for serum sometimes when I do decide to put it during on a Tuesday and on a Thursday because remember I only use the ordinary on Monday Wednesday and Thursday so if I'm not using the ordinary I go in with the Uri H one I love using this toner so I use this toner almost every day like you know and then on the days that I don't use both of these products together I go in with the ordinary serum so on the day I'm not using the ordinary toner I use the ordinary serum I feel like together it's a bit harsh you do not want that for your skin baby trust me don't do it don't do it don't do it okay and then when i'm done with that 
I go in with my yeah, I'm giving I'm definitely getting flu. Like rally, rally, <laughs> and then for moisturizer, I go in with my La Roche per se moisturizer. I love this so much, a bit pricey, guys. The La Roche per se range, it's in its whole entirety, is pricey. If a how many moles is this? Let me tell you. If a 30 ml serum is 750 exactly imagine how much this thing is and this is 40 ml i don't understand why they have it in such small portions and make it so expensive so i go in with my la roche per se um moisturizer and then when i'm done with that i go in with my favorite favorite girl in the whole world these two I don't care if I'm sleeping, I don't care if I'm awake, I will use sunscreen even at night. So, these two. You know I first start with her, and then I go in with this girl. That is literally all I do. My skincare is literally not so complex, it's not crazy. It's the most easiest thing that you can do for yourself, for your skin. I don't do 10 steps, whatever. I just cleanse, tone, eye cream, Moisture serum, moisturizer, sunscreen. I have a six step skincare program, whatever you want to call it, because I don't like clogging or whatever. I got rid of all my userin, um, my userin, uh, what's this products because they were piling up on my face. I don't know why. Every time I use userin, when I just hold my face like this, it will just come off like that i'm just like why is it piling up you know maybe i was doing it the wrong way i don't know but it was definitely piling up and i didn't like that so i stopped using eucerin so the only thing that i think i use the most is definitely the urh skincare i use fenty as well and i absolutely love la roche per se so those are my top three top three skincare brands to go for like that i go for like i said a bit pricey but i'm sharing this because i just want to show you guys what I used to look like. Obviously, there's a lot that I'm doing to my skin in order for it to be where it's at. Facials, this, that, just for it to get better, you know. So, if you're having a current skin routine that works for you, you don't really have to change it. Just continue with it because it works for you. But remember, like I said, I also use E Gentle Magic if I have an active pimple. I want to show you guys. Remember that pimple from today? It's literally like it's starting to be pink as in it wants to like pop or something and i'm not gonna pop it i'm still gonna put that it's gonna dry out by tomorrow i'm gonna show you guys tomorrow so that is my nighttime skincare routine i feel like it's not pointless me actually doing with you guys because you guys know how i did it earlier just turn it in tonight gme so yeah i'm gonna quickly do that and then i feel like i want to nap i'm so tired i don't know why but i will see you guys i don't know what i'm gonna see you guys because i was like i want to close the vlog but then i have an event so i'm just like let me just make it a weekly it's not gonna be a weekly it's gonna be like a three-day vlog so i'm gonna see you guys when we go to the event on wednesday because it's monday today so i'm not gonna vlog tomorrow i'll see you guys on wednesday hey love this room <laughs> this particular room where's my thing this room is a mess like the whole house is a mess actually because progress is not around her sister passed away so ah uh, my house has been a mess but i definitely yo this thing is so tight because i want this thing to sit like i haven't done my makeup in forever the last time i did my makeup was on the 2nd of november how crazy is that? So I haven't done my makeup in forever. And today is Wednesday. It's the day of the NARS official... Is it launch or what? Yeah. Honestly speaking, I wouldn't have gone because I am currently in a state where I don't even want to be outside. I don't even want to be seen. But Tuto has literally been... I was on the phone with Tuto, sorry. Literally half of the day because she was like, you're not feeling good, friend. I don't want to. Yo, this thing is tight. Yo, is this what they mean when they say melt? 
Twitter was like, you're not feeling good, friend. I don't want to not speak to you or something like that because I want you to be okay. So half of the day I've been on the phone. Yeah. I hope this thing is melted. Half of the day I've been on the phone with Tuto. Because, wow. I was about to lose my brain. <laughs> my whole brain was about to die. And not function and not think. Because this thing was killing me. But I'll fix it properly when I'm done. Because this line is not in the middle. I think I need to put that thing again so this thing lays down perfectly. Because I wanted to do baby hairs, but I just see that, hmm, it's actually perfect like this. But um, I've been in a bit of a... So my friend was like, I don't want you to feel like that. So she was on the phone with me literally half of the whole day. And I was just in bed sobbing. And if I can be completely honest with you guys, I don't even know what's wrong. Maybe key year end fatigue fatigue or whatever fatigue fatigue whatever people call it but i'm not you know or i'm still in i don't know i don't know what's happening but i'll be fine i just need people that are going to be there for me around me so i'm going to do my face and it's been a minute do i even still know how to do makeup let's just start there let's just start from the fact that do I even still know how to do makeup? But as I was saying, today's the Nas event. Honestly speaking, I wouldn't have went because I really don't want to be around people at this particular point in my life. Or at this particular point that this is all happening. The way my skin is glowing. This thing does not even make it matte or whatever. Or it's supposed to be what? I don't want to be around people. Honestly speaking, I don't want to be smiling cheesing whereas i know that i'm not okay i'd rather just stay at home and not go but the people that are part of this campaign um the person rather is a very good person to me so i was just like you know what let me go because i would have stayed and she even called to be like yo are you still coming and i'm just like damn that time the whole time i'm saying i'm not going but mostly Tuto was like, friend, let's go. Guys, you know Tuto. Tuto's the happy person. So this whole time she was convincing me to go. So we're going to go. And I also feel like, how long have I been talking for months? Sorry. <laughs> and I also feel like, because I'm in a funk, yeah? Um, I need to work in order for me not to think too much. In order for me not to have unnecessary thoughts. Because right now I'm having unnecessary thoughts that don't mean anything. But... We're gonna be okay. Trust me, we're gonna be fine. So let me just do my makeup. I'll let you guys watch this bit. Because do I even still know how to find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> so let's just do that. And then I'll see you guys when I'm done. I don't want to talk because if I talk, I'm going to take forever. What time is it? It's 18.07. So let's go. Dollar. Uh. Metro, your metro. I feel it nowhere it lets me in. Can't deny 'cause your double been let me in. I should have learned my lesson then. I didn't wanna keep going, I was hesitant. I try to have no other evidence. No. I'm gonna trust myself, ain't no better than. Why they roll it two tone like the president? And it ain't been no back and forth ever since. Yeah. Now she feeling me. Us out of frame, I'm feeling peace. No kissing, no stain, no pressure clean. Pass out the chain with hella beats. Why the water like rain on that G star beat? I'm my stock, I've been going like a mustard I won't ride that new rose or that pin to be. Yeah, we gon' cost some genera the devil seat. I done bought her a bag out of love of me. I'ma pop on my place like I'm double D. I'ma hop on the jet in another city. I got fans and got fans who gon' pay for me. I need my shit now, I can't wait a week. Wait a week. Fuck on that kitty, she take it deep. Take it I feel like nobody lets me in. Can't deny on your double bit, let me in. I should have learned my lesson then. I didn't wanna keep going, I was hesitant. I try to have no other evidence. No. But I'm gonna trust myself, ain't no better than. Why they roll it two tone like the president? And it ain't been no back and forth ever since. I kill the world with no evidence. I pay my dues with like every scene. And since I'm fresh as a peppermint. Riches they come, ain't no better man. All right, you go like a treasure chest. All right, you go like a leprechaun. I got a shit with a magazine. Young 
need to fly some pelicans. I treat my ball like they wanna want to one. I treat these hoes like they wanna want to one. I smoke your dog and you owe and one. I smell like Dora and I hold the corn. I made a plan, go to the love, and I had double go with some bubble gum. I got a chain and some other sun, and I jab out and over my nose. I mean, where the fuck should I really even start? I got hoes that I'm keeping in the dark. I got my niggas cross the street living large. Thinking back to the fact that they dead. Thought my raps were the facts and they sat with the bars. I got two phones, one need a charge. Yeah, they twins, I can tell they ass apart. I got big packs coming on the way. I got big stacks coming out to save. I got Lil Max with me, he the waves. It's a big gap between us and the game. In the next life, I'm trying to stay paid. When I die, I put my money in the grave. When I die, I put my money in the grave. I really gotta put a couple niggas in their place. Really just slap every nigga in a race. I really might tap till this nigga on my face. Lil CC, let it slap with the bass. I used to save hoes with a mask in a cave. Now I'm like, nah, love, I'm good, go away. Ain't about to die with no money I done gave. I was on top when that shit meant a lot. Still on top, like I'm scared of the drop. Still on top, and these niggas wanna swap. Niggas wanna swap, make a sauce in a box. I don't wanna change, cause I'm good where I'm at. Mom ties, so I'm always good where I'm at. Word of Junior, Jazzy, Baby J. Tell them when I die, put my money in the Couple freaking killers call me to let. She fuck a nigga, then she on to the next. Really living large, she ain't all with a rack. When you niggas think it's small, in the mall with a rat. Roll with us if you really wanna get it. Go get a half a million in the sprinter. Phone ringing, bitches you know a big triple. I got the hook up in the really no limit. Dead broke is in your nigga DNA. Ricky Smile is indicated with the hate. Little nigga, just another state case. Very now, motherfucker, Jay Bank, trying to bounce. Gotta count on my allowance. You niggas push it, so I gotta rebound it. The nigga tripping like I got a Z and dollars. Got the drop jumping like time when I feed down. Then I'm out. Then I never talk about it. The homie squad, but we all smoke the lobs. Rich niggas in the middle of being modest. Cause the way I do my deals never treat it like I bought this nigga house. You could DM my account. My DM six figures in them count. Nine figures was the gold till I hit the E. Niggas ain't living so bury my really awesome. When I die, I put my money in a grave. I really gotta put a couple niggas in a place. Really just slap every nigga in a race. I really might tap till this nigga on my face. Let it slap with the bass. I used to save hoes with a mask in a cave. Now I'm like, nah, I love, I'm good, go away. Ain't about to die with no money, I done gave it. Okay, I'm done with my hair makeup. I literally want curled this hair with this curling wand that I got from Sheen. I'll leave it in the description. Blah, I'll leave it in the description box for you guys. Um, I love this so much. This is, I don't know what hair this is because I just found this hair lying around and I washed it yesterday. So I really don't know what hair this is. It was curls when I got this, when, when I washed it. So I decided to one curl it because I saw one of my favorite YouTubers one curl her hair. So I was like, let me one curl because I bought this. It's It comes in a three pack. There's three curling ones. So I was like, let me one curl my hair. So I'm going to open these a bit because the dress that I'm going to wear, guys, is... <laughs> that dress is so risque that I'm like, should I just pair it with red lips? But I just feel like red lips is going to be a bit too much. So this this should be enough. Okay. So I'm just going to open these and then let's go get dressed because the event starts at 7. It's already half past 6 now. It said half past 6 for 7. But because your girl is not even sure if she wants to go, she's going to be late for the first time in 29 years. Okay, let me... But here's the face. It's eating, right? 
guys thingy on my tattoo um it's coming off i thought this was going to be a wound but it's it's this part is very this one it's hard to remove i don't know why because they say the ink is embedded what 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 so i hope it goes off but the rest is almost done i'm th i think i'm left with like two or three sessions you know but yeah okay let me go get dressed and i'll see you guys now ma. yeah no look i feel like i did my big one today i've done big ones but this one is, is mighty <laughs> i'm so nervous because i've never worn anything like this okay let's just start there i've never worn anything like this but Get to show you guys, but you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> I am, I don't know, I don't know, but I feel like it's working. This is why I need you guys in real time with me because I am scared. I would have needed you guys to help me up, but this is what we're working with. I hope you guys can't see that. <laughs> but this is the dress. Um, I used accessories from Shein. My stomach is not that, but I will be Shakira, Shakira today. Oh, she's flat, all right? She's flat, but you know. <laughs> This is for all the tall girls, this is for all the, you know, <laughs> but my jewelry is from Sheen, and then this necklace is from Sheen, the earrings are from Sheen, the dress is from Sheen. I'm like she eating right now, okay? I'm going to carry my Marco Kors bag because I just feel like it goes with the gold and stuff like that. And for shoes, I'm going to wear, because this dress is super long, so for shoes, I'm going to wear these because they're super comfortable as well. I wanted to wear my Steve man. My reality, no ways. No fucking way. And then for perfume, because you guys are always making noise that I don't show you guys my perfume, I'm going to wear my Les Sables Roses from Louis Vuitton. So, that is the fit. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. We're about to leave the house. I'll see you guys when we get there. Yeah. 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 Show me some, show me, 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 show me some, diamonds in my grill, you see me shining, twenty bows on that cayenne when we ride, now show me some, show me some, show me some, show me some, yeah. Just know I've been poppin' since Dr. J's a chronic Love all my hoes excited the
Thank you so much first to welcoming me in South Africa. I have to, it's my first time. Uh, I'm really happy to be here. I can feel like oh, almost home because I don't know if you know it, I'm sure you don't know it, but I grew up not far from here in Reunion Island, which is close to Mauritius. So it's like the same kind of vegetation, the same kind of heat. So it's amazing to feel that. Uh, it's also good because you know in Paris it's like I would use water on top. It depends on your skin type. Tell me you're clingy without so telling me. Yes, I will leave like that. I go for that gusto. Losing in the option. Check a bag and make deposits and deposits and deposits. Ay, you see me shining. Just know I've been grinding. Jays is too exclusive. One on one, you'll never find it. I love this LA weather. Cost all up with buttons. You think you cannot flex me? You gon' have to. Hey, hey, show me some. 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 Diamonds in my grill, you see me shining. Twenty foes on that cayenne when we ride. Now show me some. Show me some. Show me some. Show me some. I don't even know why did we go to eat at Tang because we didn't even finish our food. Well, I didn't finish my food. Tuto finished the food. But he gave us a goodie bag. I wonder what's inside here because we already received something. Oh, I think it's the mascara. Guys, that mascara. That mascara is crazy. So it came like this. This is the NARS. Pal Palmet lip pigment so they had a whole display uh, like showing us how to put on the NARS makeup that ooh, star woman one thing about a red lip is that it'll follow me everywhere 
and I don't wear red lipstick, but it'll follow me. The Soho is in for a treat because one day about my best friend she'll wear red lipstick. So this is the Star Woman Pigment Lip Power Matte Lip Pigment in the shade Star Woman. Um, it's a red lipstick, guys. You know I don't wear red lipstick, but at some point I think I have to give in because every single event that I go to and it is, you know, discover a nice icon. Oh. I'm excited for the, I'm mostly excited for this for the mascara because what when I saw it on that lady because they did a whole demonstration like the the makeup artist was putting mascara on the lady I said I need that mascara I need it we got the Mars climate oh. and I love the fact that the bristles are, t are so tiny because one thing about it I do not have lashes game nasana like how small are those bristles love it here I love a small bristle on a, and the packaging is so cute. Absolutely love a small bristle on a mascara because I do not have lashes like that, but mostly for my under under eye lashes or whatever you want to call them, for my, whatever. And then this is the blush. Orgasm, guys. The way that man was going on about the orgasm blush, I even said, sir. Are you trying to have one right now? Because the way he was going on about this blush, I'm so excited to be trying it. But most importantly, or rather most... How do I open this? Hi. Oh. Did I just have one? This is why this thing is called an orgasm because baby... Now I get why they call her orgasm because what? Absolutely stunning. And by the way, guys, my Charlotte Tilbury. Mm -hmm, I don't even want to go. There. I don't even want. I don't even want to speak. I don't even want to talk about it because I have to get more. I love this thing, but I'm gonna try the Nas. So they gave me this one. They gave me the lip balm. I'm, I'm, I'm already obsessed with the lip balm. Like it's even right here. I use it literally every day, even when I'm at home. I want to start, I want to do a whole NARS review because I'm going to go and get the foundation. I really want the concealer because it had a skin tint type of situation. And then I'm just going to do a whole NARS. Am I crazy? Where is it? Where is it? If it broke, I'm going to. I'm so sore, but yeah, I want to do a whole nose um beat type of thing, and then show you guys. Guys, I really want to buy a another bundle for this wig of this is like my everyday wig that has turned into a wig that i absolutely love but i feel like it's a bit weak i need more bundles on this so i want a body wave bundle and i, sh I saw someone board here from dragon city so i think i'm gonna go there and just take my chances because i want this to be full so i'm gonna add to the tricks to the tracks you know, to the tricks to the tracks and then it's gonna be full i wanna i'll show you guys on the next vlog though because i just feel like the fact that I've been sitting at home and not vlogging is the reason why I'm in such a funk. I feel like I just need to get back to working because working takes my mind off things. And if I'm not doing anything, then my mind just wanders. But also today, like like I said, I was in such a state that Tuto was actually on the phone with me the whole time because she was like, we don't have to talk, but just stay on the phone so that I know that you're okay, you know. And I literally took my Bible and I slept with it. Like, I, I took a nap with my Bible. I put my Bible on my chest. And I just took a nap because I was just like, I'm not okay. But I know for a fact that after this, I'm going to feel okay. I'm going to feel better. But um, I actually do feel better. I think the fact that I got out of the house is the number one reason why I feel so much better. This hair is actually so beautiful. Wow. Like, this hair is actually insanely gorgeous. I'm going to buy another, like, maybe two bundles and put it on here. And then dye them black. 
you know because this hair is actually freaking stunning like i just need it to be fuller because what i'm going for you guys are gonna see but yeah um like i said i feel better i think the fact that i was outside made me feel better i was with my friend and we went out for dinner so i'm not doing vlogmas maybe i am maybe i won't <laughs> i don't know but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys on my next one bye my darlings Thank you.